Hey guys, RC Outdoors here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Castle Link system with your Castle ESC. So before you get started and start programming, you're going to need the um, devices to do so. So first off, you're going to need the software. So if you go to this website right here, which is Castle Creations, go to the downloads, and you can get the um, Castle Link version 3.68.20. This was just released about two and a half weeks ago, as of uh, it was released Halloween of uh, 2016. So if you just click this big blue blu big blue button, it will download it to your computer, and then you can use it. Um, it'll download it, then you have to install it, and then you'll be able to use it. Now, after you get the software, you're going to need the adapters. So you can either get one of these. Now, I have both of these. Um, I ordered them both because I wanted also a field link. So what this does is you're going to plug your uh, cable that is coming from your ESC going to your receiver into these and then you'll plug this end into your computer now you will either have to buy the cord for it or you have to buy a um, or you may not have to buy one at all and you may have one already in your house for a phone it is the uh, mini USB not the micro USB on phones but the mini USB or you can get the uh, Castle Field Link for Surface and what this does is you can uh, program it without the computer right next to you this is good for uh, of course when you're out at the track or um, bashing and you need to program something now you can also connect this to your computer you plug in your um, cord straight into these prongs and then you plug your cord going into your computer right into here Now yes this is thirty five dollars um, but it is totally worth it I only paid ten because I had a coupon that came with my um, Micro Mamba X so that worked out pretty well and then this I actually got for free because I picked up another Micro Mamba X because of course the first one uh, broke and I ended up getting two coupons so I picked up both so I got this one for free and then I got this for ten bucks so do I think it'll be worth it for the thirty five bucks so of course it is always going to be worth it because you'll be able to program now let's get into the program itself so of course to open it up you're going to go ahead and click castle link when it starts up you'll see well actually hang on I'm going to show you guys how to start it up so I'm going to disconnect it from my computer now you're going to open castle link and then you will notice that it's have it just has this uh, this screen right here and then it has this tab and then both of these lights are both red now what you need to do is both of these need to be green to program so to do this what you're going to do is you're going to connect your USB into your computer and then plug the adapter into either your field link or this chip right here and once you've done that you'll see that it has a green light here showing that the device is connected now to connect to your ESC you're going to need to plug the adapter into your ESC so once that is done this light will turn green so let me do that real quick as you can see it just turned green and now it has this green and it didn't update now when once it is up even though it updates you're going to want to go ahead and update no matter what press ok go to software sometimes it um, you can update the firmware and you do not have to disconnect so if you need to you can go ahead and do that and it will update your firmware now I only do this maybe um, once every five or six times I get on to the computer to um, to program my ESCs because they don't um, update new firmware that too often but when they do you want to make sure you get the new firmware so once this is done going I'll show you how to do everything alright so now that's totally update it'll go through and update one more time now after this screen you'll see a bunch of tabs up here about basic power advanced throttle curve and brake curve software and safe print don't worry about either of the uh, software or the safe print save or print um, you can save your settings to a file or you can load them from a file um, that's nice 
or you can um, print your settings so you just have them. Now, go into basic, cut off voltage, just keep this at auto lipo. Your um, ESC will do it all for you, you don't really have to program it. Auto lipo volts per cell. Um, in the parentheses with the asterisk is the default. Keep yours around 3.3 .3 to 3.4. It does. You will get a longer uh, life on your battery. Do not risk um, doing it at 3 volts. That is just plain stupid because if you slip under that at all, your battery is basically fried. Yes, you can bring it up, but your battery will not last very long. So I keep mine around 3.3. Reverse, you can do without reverse, crawler reverse, or with reverse. Um, I'm using mine with reverse. Crawler reverse is when you go very, very, very slow. So you'll go maybe 2% of your um, throttle backwards, and then your brake will be about 213%. So I keep mine with reverse. Motor direction, you can either do reverse or normal. Um, just keep it at normal unless you need to reverse it, but you can also reverse it with your uh, controller. Motor type, you can either do brush tie power, brush reversing, or brushless. Of course I'm running brushless, so keep it at brushless. Power on warning beep, so when it does the dial up, um, it beeps, so keep that enabled unless you don't like that. Brake amount, so when you apply the brake, you can either have 10 to 100% right now I just keep mine at default which is 50% drag brake so when you're let off the throttle it will go to um, it'll slow it'll apply braking at a certain point so I either keep mine at 10 to 20 right now I'm keeping it at 20 now you'll also see uh, crawler full on so when you release the car basically immediately stops but you don't need that because un unless you are running a crawler um, you could use that if you're running a crawler. Going into power, max forward power, keep that at 100% unless you do not want all power. Max reverse power, um, keep that around 40 to 30. You don't really need all your power. If you do 100%, you're going to basically uh, be going way too fast in reverse. So keep that around 40. Punch control, this is the amount of torque and the quicker the motor gets up to its full speed. So the higher this is, the slower it's going to be off the line. You're not going to spin your tires at all. I'm keeping mine around 25%. The torque limit, this limits how much torque goes into the motor to get your motor actually, um, to get your motor spinning, how much torque it sends out. Um, right now, I should have this on def or disabled which I'm doing now if you perform a motor test what it'll do is you want to make sure there is absolutely no load on your brushless motor you can have a pinion on there but do not have it touching the spur gear at all when you do this then it'll do the test and it'll save the data you cannot really view the data um, but it does have it advanced um, the timing you want this around 10 if you don't know what this is they also have the uh, blue Lowest is best for bashing, uh, good for bashing racing with any motor, with most any motors, what I have. Highest, it gets very hot very quickly. Uh, arming time, so the, the length of from turning the ESC on to sending signals to the motor is one second. Uh, default is one and a half seconds. Throttle deadband, so how much you have to move the uh, trigger on your controller before it starts sending signals. I keep mine at either 0.1 or 0.2. 1125. Right now I'm just having it at 0.1. Start power, you want it at low unless you are running a very good battery pack that can send out a lot of amps. Now your throttle curve. This is cool, kind of cool. So right off the bat it just has a steady incline. Now if you want to do a very slow incline until you start uh, inputting a lot of throttle, what you do is you can add points by left clicking and it'll add little blue dots. To remove these right click and it will remove them. Now I have tested and I've put mine at about 20 and then I've added another one at about 30 and it's way up so when you get to about here it punches it. Now to do wheelies have one at 10 pretty low at 
10% input throttle and then have the throttle at 100% when you get to 20. You will pop immediate wheelies basically. Uh, but this is cool if you really want to do wheelies but it's not really uh, good for bashing because you're going to be running at full throttle. So just keep this at this. Uh, brake curve is the same. How quick you get to full brake. Um, so you can move these however you want. Just add new points and it'll do it for you. And then you just right click to remove them. And that's about it. So I hope you guys found this um, tutorial helpful. If uh, you did, make sure to give this video a like. Now, when you are done, you want to make sure after you're done, you want to update and make sure it's sending all the new data to your ESC and then then you're ready to run. So of course, thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video helped you guys. And uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next